I, I'm not, I've never been able to take an acting class, so I didn't know really the process of an actor to prepare for this. And I started researching, like, for example, who went from doing comedy to doing uh, a role, yeah. and I realized Jennifer Aniston. It's like she did it. She so did she helped you? No. Oh. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. That'd be fun. But, but whoever, whoever I found who worked with Jennifer or who has oh, she worked before, smart. maybe it's someone that could help me. And I found Nancy Banks, which worked with Jennifer. She made me understand every line, every scene. Nosotros no hicimos esto por un montón de coca. Nosotros hicimos esto para que esos hijos se sientan como nosotros nos sentimos. Sin poder. Con miedo. Y no vamos a parar hasta que esos malparidos estén arrodillados rogándonos para que paremos. Welcome to the actor's side today. Very excited. She is a four-time Emmy nominee, a four-time Golden Globe nominee. Of course, is playing Gloria in Modern Family. So many other things currently on America's Got Talent, too. That's, I love that show. And uh, as Griselda, Griselda Blanco in the uh, Netflix uh, limited series, she has won high praise for what I believe is your first dramatic role ever, and certainly lead. This is Sofia Vergara. Thank you How for joining are you? us. No, thank you for having me. I'm very happy. <laughs> How exciting, though, to... I, I read the reviews, you know, before I saw the show when they came out. <laughs> they were just raves. How does that feel? I mean, it first feels one? very good. Yeah. I love it because, you know, it was a lot of work. It was like 15 years in the making. It was wow. a lot of research. It was a lot of no's and or we can't do it now or things not happening so when we finally got it and to see that people you know love it is it means a lot to me it's been very exciting process yeah and taking it on you know obviously was a huge challenge to convince people in this business because you yes. so known for comedy and you know 250 episodes of modern family and things sometimes they want to type you in this business yeah and, and it's very understandable like i yeah. i mean i i understand why that would happen i was afraid at the beginning you know when i went to netflix with the project i mean I was like, why do I think that I'm going to convince them that Gloria Pe Pritchett can put a rubber nose and be able to be Griselda Blanco? Yeah. So it was like, to me, like a, a big risk that I thought this might not happen. But, but they say, yes, they, they, there was something there that immediately, you know, they thought it could be something. This woman was notorious. There's no question about it. In fact, Pablo Escobar himself the drug kingpin said, the only man I ever feared was a woman named Griselda, which I thought was a great yeah. quote. <laughs> it was crazy. You know, it was one of the things that really, really like pulled me into doing the project was that she was a woman that was so successful in a men's world. Yeah. I mean, I was very careful to try not to romanticize her or make her a hero because at the end of the day, she was a monster. She did do horrific things in real life. And yeah. so, it, but, it, but it was interesting to me because I grew up in Colombia during that era where the narco-traffic narco was part of our lives, you know, the 80s and the 90s. Yeah. And we all knew these characters. We all knew all these men. We all knew who Pablo Escobar was, de, Orejue de Rodriguez Orejuela, de Ochoa. We grew up, you know, at dinner table, you know, at the, in the TV, in the news, in the newspaper. It was all about, you know, narco-traffic at that time. But there was never that, a name of that woman or a woman involved of it. There would be like a, you know, the girlfriend of, of a narco guy right. or the wife, but not doing some little something, money laundering, but not being, you know, the head of a cartel like that, like, like Rosalda Blanco. 
Just unbelievable. Yeah. And the, the preparation, the level of research, you said 15 years, but that's in all the development yeah. and making this work. And also, I believe you had the showrunner who did Narcos. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, which is great. To so, you know, when I, I was thinking and planning Griselda way before Narcos started. Yeah. Because you're I, an executive producer on yes, it as well. Yes. But I didn't know what to do with it. Like, you know, I knew I knew what the, the kind of like what the story should be. I knew how she should look. I knew, you know, I knew that it was something very interesting because it, it was a woman and all those kind of stories. People love, people yeah. love, you know, narco-trafficking stories yeah. and and mafia stories. Exactly. So I always thought there's something here in this character that I want to do. And then Narcos came on TV. And yeah. I'm like, this is the people I need to take Griselda to because they would they would understand. Yeah, exactly. And I met with Eric Newman, the producer, and he thought it was brilliant. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, from the moment he believed that Gloria Pritchett could play Griselda yeah. Blanco. So I was very excited. He believed in me from the from the first meeting. Now, I've seen pictures of her. Sophia. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're one of the most beautiful women oh, in the thanks. world. It's not just me saying good that. Good it's on the cover of People <laughs> magazine again right oh, now. Thank you. Uh, it's like, so the transformation yeah. was how many hours a day did you go through? Well, this? it was like three hours and something. <laughs> but the, this was the thing. Like, I was never going to be able to look at, like Griselda Blanco because she, Griselda looked very different from me. Right. Uh, she was also for 22 years in jail. That transforms you even more. Right. But I wasn't afraid of that because Griselda Blanco was not, for example, Jackie Kennedy. You right. know, Jackie Kennedy, the world knows how she looked, how she dressed, how yeah. she talked, how she moved her hands. There was, you know, 15 pictures of Griselda Blanco. Yeah. There's no recordings of Griselda Blanco. Nobody knows how she even sound. So I was not afraid of that. I right. wanted to create this character that wasn't, not Gloria Preacher, that looked not like Gloria Preacher, not like me. Yeah. And that didn't have to look like Griselda Blanco because we also were doing a TV show where you cannot spend, you know, seven hours whole full transformation. We were only going to have three and something hours. So it needed to be right. kind of, believe it or not, three and something hours is kind of fast for a transformation. Yeah. So it took us a long time to figure out what I needed. I needed, you know, the wig and the teeth. Yeah. I changed the color of my skin with yeah. with a weird color makeup and I no the nose was plastic. I had plastic from here to here because I had to cover my my thick eyebrows. eyebrows. Yeah. yeah, that and was my, a big part of it. Yeah. And we would put a little eyebrow on top because of the, in the night in the 80s they, the woman would like plug their <laughs> eyebrows. Wow. Uh, I wanted my my eyes are kind of like cat eye. I wanted to, you know, the plastic would fall on here and would make me different. I, I kind of like created a new way of walking and and moving that was not Sophia. I mean, I would wear like Spanx because I didn't want it, my my butt to like, you know, yeah. be like a Latino The physicality yeah. of the performance yeah, is I, very important. It was a this. lot of things that I had to, to do for the role. But I mean, I I think if I knew what it was, how hard it was going to be, I would have never done it. Really? But it was, it was my first time. I had never acted in, in Spanish. Believe it or not, in really? English, yeah. That's shocking. Never acted in Spanish, <laughs> never done a drama, never wore really prosthetics right. for for anything. So it was it was hard, mm, but but it was worth it. Yeah, I think it was worth it. Do you it. have to find some level of empathy when you're playing a character, particularly somebody like yeah. this, that you have to somehow like her to play her in a weird way? Yeah. I don't know if like her is the word, yeah. but understand her. Did you have to get into this character? Yeah, that, that was like the one of the most important things for me to figure out um, was how do we make this person not a monster from right. the beginning? And then you don't, you don't want to see a monster for six episodes, a person, <laughs> you know, that you're not that you don't care about. So I wanted to first make her human and I don't know why it kept coming to my my mind Tony Soprano. Like, you know, <laughs> someone that was brutal but at the end of the day you yeah. fall in love with him. Like you want him to win. Yeah. And and you invest, you know, all this time on this person. So I kept thinking of him and I tried to make her as much, you know, human and at the end of the day, also, when I was preparing for, like, learning about her, I always wanted to, like, think of someone that had to do, at the beginning, the things that she did because she had to. 
right. because she needed to survive because she was a mother because she had been abused yeah. that there were that there were like good intentions at the beginning and then she turned into this monster so yeah. i always thought of her like that that's what makes the limited series format i think work so well yeah. for this too because you can see that gradual yes. thing going all the way to prison aging it yeah. was a part of it too yes, yes and the whole thing i mean it was a lot <laughs> i mean so you said this is your first big acting thing in that regard do you this is called the actor's side so do you have a process do you have something <laughs> like, that was my panicking when i said like it took me so long to have griselda to 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 make it happen and then when yeah. it was about to happen i'm like now what do i do <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how am i gonna do a, a character so strong and right with so many completely i've never done anything like that i would just show up on set and pray oh, yeah. please god make me cry this time <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't take her home with you like, yeah i did at the beginning but w without knowing <laughs> without knowing it was like for the first three four weeks i'm like why am i like, I can't not fall asleep. It wow. was like, but then you realize it's like, oh, I'm becoming an actress. <laughs> it's like, because of course, you spend a whole day screaming, killing, doing yeah. cocaine, smoking. I had to learn how to smoke. I had never even put a cigarette in my mouth ever. Oh my God. So I had to learn, and I'm smoking in, in 96% of the epi, of the, of the, of the scenes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, how am I gonna do this? So. So I would go home and I'm like, didn't know what was happening to me, like exhausted, but couldn't like, 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 and then somebody said, just take something to sleep because you're like, you know, it's been a, a crazy day. Your body yeah. doesn't really know that you haven't been crying, killing, kicking, <laughs> you know, snoring. Swinging a baseball like, bat yes, at these you, guys. Your I body know. doesn't know. You look like you've done that. You know, <laughs> you convinced me you could pick up a baseball bat and go wham. <laughs> just acting. Just see, you got the acting going. <laughs> Modern Family, such a beloved show, yeah. ran forever. Is that, you know, everything's getting rebooted. Maybe it's a little early to it's talk about It's too early, that. but I, I mean, I would do it in, I mean, in one second. Yeah. Oh my God, I would love to be again in part of, of Modern Family. I mean, I would repeat the whole 11 seasons again. It was such a, a, a gift for, for anyone to get a job like that, you know, 11 yeah. years of a steady job with the people that you love, with a character that was loved by everyone. I mean, it was, I got lucky. Well, yeah, and you're so good in it too. The All the Emmy and Golden Globe and all those nominations that you consistently got and you were the highest paid female actor on television. Yeah, I mean, I cannot even believe it still that that I've done all those things. And <laughs> it's more. It's fun, yeah. I love what you do with the voiceover. With all the animation, I wrote down some of the Happy Feet 2, the Emoji movie. Yeah. You played a couch, yeah. Dolores the Couch. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'll do anything. Yep, yeah, <laughs> Simpsons and Family yeah. Guy and of Despicable uh, Me. I think it's because I, you know, I have a very specific voice and sometimes <laughs> when they need something like that, you know, I, I, I love to do that. You yeah. come in and I do mean, it. it's not as fun as being with real actors because you're alone on a booth right. doing the voiceover, but it's, it's something that I enjoy. Yeah, Despicable yeah. Me 4 is coming out this yes. summer. That's yeah, another yeah, yeah. one. Um, I have a part there. Yeah, we've been working on it. I think, you know, they take time, those yeah. movies. They t even take longer than a movie with real actors and it takes a long time. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting when we're talking about Griselda, she, you know, sort of you followed that traje trajectory from Colombia to Miami. Isn't that yeah. uh, what you did when you hit America? Yeah. I mean, there were very, a lot of, you know, similarities. <laughs> I mean, it's weird to say with me and her, not that I'm yeah. going to kill, you know, three of my husbands. <laughs> I wanted to, but <laughs> never do something like what she did. Yeah. Uh, she became you know, brutal. But, you know, there were similarities. First of all, I'm a woman like her. I'm from Colombia. Yeah. I'm an immigrant. I I was a single mother. I, I came to a country with my son and to try to make it and to not knowing many people, you know, not knowing if, if things were going to turn out okay. Uh, of course, there are a lot of differences, but, but I kind of like understood, you know, how she started in all this business. Yeah, and that 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 certainly helped. Yeah, your personal journey. Yes, here too. Yeah, yeah. And how did you decide to get into acting? Since you didn't study at all or something, I heard you had a kind of classic story. A photographer sort of stopped you on the beach or something. Well, yeah, that was when I was seventeen, and that's how I got into 
the, into the entertainment world. Yeah. But I was not acting at that point. I was I became a TV host at uh, first in, in Colombia. Yeah. And then in Univision, the oh, yeah. it used to be like the the number one Hispanic network in the United States in the nineties when I moved to I moved from Colombia to Miami to be in this show. So I was this kind of like discover at the beach for a Pepsi commercial when I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. And then, but I was about to like, you know, finish high school to get married. I wanted to have kids. So for two years, I didn't do anything. Then I got divorced and then I started work. And I said, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do this modeling or TV hosting <laughs> thing that everybody thinks I should be doing. Yeah. And I've been since. <laughs> Look at that, fate. You yeah, know, sometimes. Yeah. But the acting was really, really late. I got, yeah. you know, I started Modern Family, which is really my first big, big acting job when I was 37. Wow. So very, very late. That really is. Yeah. yeah. Very late. And okay. Griselda is just, uh, if you haven't seen it, and the whole <laughs> reason we love to talk is to get people to watch. There's so much content yeah. on television. This is Netflix, six episodes. When I said she was highly praised for this, I'm not kidding. You should read, the, <laughs> you should you. read these reviews. Any actor would kill for them. I mean, uh, don't I'm, kill still, for, I'm, I'm sorry still, about no, that. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they wouldn't kill for them. Yeah. <laughs> this is Sofia Vergara. Thank you for joining us Thank on the Thank you so side. much. Thank you. <laughs>